Hi guys, welcome back to my bathroom. Today's video is about uh, all the products that I use once a month. They're kind of savior products that I think you should only use rarely, but they really make a big difference to your skin when you do. So if you want to find out what my skin saviors are, just keep watching. So first of all, I'm going to talk about body and hair products. So for the body, my one month saviour is the Mineral Body Peel. It's from a brand called Org, O-R-G. It's a strange spray that you basically put onto your body and rub it in, and then all of your dead skin basically peels off. And I find it particularly good after a holiday when you want to kind of get rid of your tan and like freshen your skin up so it's glowing again and healthy. This absolutely does that better than any other product. I don't think it would be very good for you to use every day because it's quite, it's not, I mean, they say it's not abrasive, but it's quite full on. Like you can literally see your skin like rolling off as you're doing it. So I tend to do this and then jump in the bath. Um, and I just think it leaves your skin more exfoliated, more fresh and like healthy and glowy than any other body exfoliator. Then for your hair, um, I've got really long hair, you can see here. And so to keep it in good condition, for about 10 years I've been using this product. I buy it in the jumbos. You can buy it in small pots like this. It's the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. Elasticizer Extreme is the one that I buy now because it's even more intense. You put it on your damp hair and then I either have a bath or I'll sleep with it in with a hair towel and wash it out in the morning. And it's like the most intensive moisturizer. I've used a lot of hair masks, but this is by far my favorite. So I try and do it a couple of times a month. So my next category of products are for your face, and they are products that I think work really well with resurfacing, brightening, um, kind of clearing your skin, basically. So the first one I've been using since I was a teenager, my mom used to buy this for me. This is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion in number two. This product gets a lot of hate. People say it's like nail varnish stripper, all of this stuff. Not if you use it in the right way. For me, this is the best product for removing blackheads, but I would only ever use it twice a month, absolute max. You just put it onto a cotton wool bud and then wipe it across your face after you've cleansed, and it will literally remove any dirt in your pores that's kind of residual. I almost feel like, particularly in the city, it removes all the pollution that sits on your skin. But if you use it that sparingly, just once or twice a month, I literally never have blackheads and it's because of this, it pulls it out. If I don't use this for a while, I see the blackheads come back. So if you have issues with blackheads, this is definitely what I would recommend for that. Then for regular spots and spot treatment, I've recently discovered and I'm really enjoying using the Votary Blemish Rescue Oil. It comes in this little tub. I got it from the Liberties Press Day and you just literally rub it onto your spots um, as they're healing or as you see them. And for me, I find most of the issues I have with pimples isn't actually the pimple, it's the healing process afterwards. The reason that I like this is it both moisturizes the spot without making it worse, and it also somehow kind of closes the pore around the spot so that you have less of an exposed area in your skin and it makes it much easier to put makeup on the next day. So I really recommend this if you have any breakouts. Then for a kind of resurfacing treatment, I use this a couple of times a month, and it's the Pixie Tonic To Go. It's their little kind of, they come in little wipes inside the tub. You can buy this product as itself, like in a bottle like this, but I prefer it on their kind of texturized pads. I just take two pads and rub them across my face in circular motions, and it just helps to keep my skin looking really glowy and fresh. It almost works a bit like an exfoliator, but it's kind of like brightening and tightening, and it doesn't leave like a strong smell or residue on your skin and you can really feel the difference of the texture of your skin if you use it regularly. So I definitely don't use this on a daily basis. That's why it's in my kind of monthly saviors. Then I've got two masks. These are the two masks I would recommend. So first of all, I've got the Aura, I can never say it. Is it Omorazina? The Budapest brand? <laughs> uh, this is their deep cleansing mask. I will obviously tag it all below because evidently we don't have to say it. But it smells really good. It smells a bit eucalyptus -y and like a bit kind of tea tree-ish. It's a very dark mud. I use a little brush and I paint it onto my face. Leave it on while I have a bath and it'll kind of dry and crack and then you can wash it off at the end with a linen flannel or a um, muslin flannel. And I just really like the effect it gives to your skin. It really makes you feel like if you've got any pimples coming or you've got any imperfections kind of beginning to surface, 
it kind of shuts them down and like you can almost feel the coolness of the mask being like and sucking it out which I really really love so that's one of my favourites. And then for a completely resurfaced skin nothing is as effective as the Glam Glow Super Mud. This is their clearing treatment. Again it looks like a grey mud and I paint it on this one's like a bit darker. They say that you shouldn't leave this on for longer than 15 minutes. I don't think I've ever even left it on for longer than 10 minutes or maybe 8 minutes. I literally set a timer because it's so strong, this mask. It will peel your skin off legitimately. Like, you, I apply it to clean skin, leave it for like the 7-8 minute timer, and then I wash it off with a flannel, and then I massage gently facial oil into my skin afterwards. And what that does is it helps to lift off the dead skin that the treatment has removed and it literally rolls off your face and the next day you're left with the most perfect flat skin you will ever have known yourself to have. Don't do it before event, do it like a week before event, so I did it like a week before my wedding and then my skin was like perfect, there was no reaction. It can make your skin a little bit pink at first but it won't, it'll go away by the next day. So you do it in the evening and it'll be gone by the morning. So my next category is masks for hydration. So there are two sheet masks that I love for this. One is the SK2 facial treatment mask. They have so much moisturizing treatment inside this packet. You can literally squeeze it out like a Caesar salad sachet of dressing. It's ridiculous. Um, it just feels so good on the skin. You feel so plump and hydrated afterwards. They are expensive, but they are really worth it. I normally take one on an aeroplane with me, or I'll do one when I'm in the bath. But I try and do a sheet mask a month at least, just to rehydrate my skin. If I don't have time for the full mask experience, because it is quite messy and like you kind of need to commit to lying down and doing nothing, I will use the Elemis Pro Collagen Hydrogel Eye Masks. These are the little ones that just sit here. They're like kind of teardrops that sit under your eyes and they just really rehydrate that area. If your concealer's kind of looking a bit cakey there and your skin's a bit dry, wear one of these for an evening. One of my favorite hydrating masks is this one. So sometimes I use these two together. Um, this is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask. Literally smells like marmalade. It's like a jelly and it has even little pieces of kind of citrus fruit in there. And it's so hydrating, it just, it smells incredible, it's very relaxing to put on while you're in the bath because it smells so fruity and delicious, you literally feel like you could eat it. But you just feel like you're getting a real vitamin boost from it, it feels like your skin's just so much healthier afterwards. So I really love combining the eye sheets with that vitamin mask. The last category is the moisturising category. Both of these products are from La Mer. I do use that other skincare every single day, but these two products I would only use once a month. So one of them is the Intensive Revitalizing Mask, which comes in this packet here. And then the other is their Classic Moisturizing Cream. I would never use their cream every day, it's just too rich for my skin type. So I use it a couple of times a month when my skin really feels like it needs a boost and I'll use it as a night cream. So I love this cream, it's very thick, you have to warm it up in your hands and then you can really massage it into your skin. But for most people I don't think it's viable for every single day, it is a special treat mask. But that is what makes the product really special and means that you're getting more for your money. Buy a small jar, it will last you ages. So it's a really great investment product. This one you can sleep in. So I'll often apply this over my face, leave it for a kind of 10 minutes, and then I'll just pat my face with tissue to remove the excess and the rest you can just leave on there overnight. And it really feels thick and vibrancy boosting and it's not sticky. I also really like it to take on flights because my skin gets really dry in aeroplanes. So this is a great product for travel. It's also a great product for looking after your skin once a month for a treat. That was my collection of once a month skin saviors. I really hope that they are recommendations that you guys feel are helpful and that you'll go out and enjoy. Some of them I'm sure you guys already know about. Let me know if there's anything that you know and love that I should start using once a month in the comments below because I would love to hear your recommendations. Thanks so much for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe because there'll be one video on this channel a week now. Bye! Ready? Yes. Recording? Yes. Have. Ooh. <laughs> Look how much I just plopped on myself. Oh, oh my god. My <laughs> there is literally so much, I don't want to waste it. <laughs>
like all over my jumper. Help. Rub it in. Goodbye. Bye.